Hey everybody, in these videos we're going to actually be able to see how electromagnets work. We have a current flowing through this loop of wire. This current will produce a magnetic field. We can detect the direction of this magnetic field by bringing this compass close by. The north of the compass, which is red on this compass, will point in the direction of the magnetic field. I'm going to move the camera to an above view so that you can actually see this in action. Let's use the compass to map out what the magnetic field looks like around this loop. Here, the magnetic field is pointing through the loop. Over here, it seems to be pointing around the loop. Over here, it's pointing this way, away from the loop. Over here, it's sort of pointing up and to the left. Over here, it's pointing down. It seems as though the magnetic field is forming these nice closed loop around the wires. This actually turns out to be correct. We can determine this by using the right hand rule. So let's take a moment to draw out what this looks like on the whiteboard. Here's our diagram for this loop. I'm not a great drawer, but what I'm trying to show is that we're looking at this loop from the side, like this. What does the magnetic field look like from this perspective? Well, we know that a current is flowing around the loop, that the magnetic field is always curling around and through the loop. Let's draw a few of these lines to see what they look like. Here's our side view of the magnetic field. As with all magnetic fields, these magnetic fields form closed loops. There isn't really a north and south pole, but that's okay because we're talking about an electromagnet. If we were to place a compass in this magnetic field, the north pole of the compass would point in the direction that the magnetic field is pointing. We also know that the strength of the magnetic field is related to how dense the field lines in a particular area are. It probably makes sense that the farther we get away from the coil of wire, the weaker the magnetic field will be. That's represented in this diagram. Out here, the lines are very far away, while here, the lines are close together. 